Welcome to FinaQuant channel. What is a table function? Just like there are functions with scalar and matrix parameters, there are functions with tables as input and output parameters. Here, for example, we get price table by multiplying cost and margin tables. This is not an ordinary multiplication, this is a table function namely table multiplication or more precisely multiplication of selected key figures i will show you now how this table multiplication works with finaquant protos this is the cost table as the first input parameter costs are given per attributes category product and year in the first example margins are specified per category only when you execute the table multiplication function, you get this price table. As expected, margins of 25% for computers and 40% for mobile phones. In the second example, margins are specified in more detail, this time per product and year. Nevertheless, you get the price table by executing exactly the same table function because the general pattern remains the same. The only difference is the second input parameter, namely the margin table. You may wonder why applications like financial planning, provider dealer network or fee calculations in financial services are best and most easily solved with table functions. Because due to the nature of these applications, most of the calculation patterns, if not all, can be captured already at the topmost table level with a library of table functions offering all the necessary calculation patterns like aggregations, distributions, transformations, and user-defined functions, etc. Even for applications like forecasts and estimations, risk analysis, asset valuation, and so on, that typically require matrix calculations, table functions can be of great use. After all, all these applications are based on historical table data. And with table functions like table multiplexers, date filters and samplers and alike, you can transform the table data into multiple time series for each asset or whatever entity is calculated then feed these time series into matrix computations. Again, by using table functions, you can combine the resultant time series back into data tables to store them in a repository for safekeeping or reporting. The data table class of the .NET framework for keeping and manipulating tables directly in the memory plays a crucial role for integrating FinaQuant tables with data repositories and other .NET applications. Matrix table class of FinaQuant is a mathematical representation of a table with a simplified data structure compared to data table of .NET. Luckily, a matrix table can easily be converted to a data table or vice versa. Once you have your data in a data table, you have access to all other .NET functionalities and libraries for importing or exporting data as well as for reporting. Nevertheless, FinaQuant libraries include also data table extensions for importing or exporting data to make life easier for users. This is the end of my little presentation. I hope you found it informative and inspiring. Goodbye.